You're listening to the Whip Appeal Show, hosted by Mistress Candy 69 from the BDSM Alive Radio Network. Well, hello, hello, hello in Radio Land. <laughs> Today is Friday, October 7th, 2022. And guess what? In less than two weeks, I think just about, or is it three weeks? One, no, two weeks from today, Mistress and the BDSM Alive Radio Network will be gracing the halls of Exotica once again. Um, I am going with a friend of mine, uh, a high school friend, matter of fact. Um, him and I are going together. Now, this will be his first time ever going to an Exotica, so it's kind of neat. Um, excuse me, Mistress is eating gummy bears while she's doing the show. Terrible. <laughs> um, so basically, I'll be going back to Exotic in Edison this um, October. It's October 21st to the 23rd. And, of course, ladies are free on Friday. So make sure if you're a woman or you identify as a woman, please go to the convention center and check in ahead of time. And, and you'll be granted a ladies' free Friday pass. Um, Exotica is probably one of the biggest expos dedicated to love, porn, and sex. Pretty good combination of those things, don't you think? So, what I like to do is I like to talk a little bit about Exotica. It's pretty neat. They have uh, it's a really big convention. There's famous porn stars. There's a whole BDSM section, which I think is run by Kinky College. I think they're the ones who usually do it. Um, I think my friend Subby Karen and Master Mike had messaged me on FetLife earlier this week and had asked me where I was staying, and I told them where. So if you're listening to the show tonight, Master Mike and Subby Karen, I'm looking forward to seeing you both at Exotica and Edison. Uh, you can meet my vanilla friend, who is knows about my kink, um, kind of interested in it, nay, yay, nay, you know, but wants to come because he heard it's going to be a really big, crazy, cool event, so he wants to go. So my, my friend Chris and I will be going to that show together. Um, we're going to be meeting Mistress Black Velvet and her submissive there, as well as uh, I think Mike and Sherry from ASN, Casey Carter and Sir Lorenzo will be there, as well as Mizzy Bender and... Some other, I think maybe Coraline Jewel, I think, is going to be there. Of course, with Evan Stone, who's the Exotica spokesman, and Katie Morgan. And um, I think my friend uh, Kimmy Kaboom is going to be there, as well as several other people who I forget to mention. <laughs> but we always must really thank Ex Alexandra, the Ex uh, Exotica director, for help putting this awesome show together which is sponsored by Chatterbait and, and Bad Dragon, by the way. And I think My Free, My, My Cams or My Free Cams or something, I don't know, something like that. So um, Mistress works on a cam site, actually. I'm on Streammate Models. Um, you can find me under Mistress Candy 69 Matter of fact, maybe either late tonight or tomorrow night, one of, the, one of these two nights, um, excuse me, Mistress will be going back on cams. I've been getting emails and messages um, from my guy fans that want to know when I'm coming back on. They said it's been forever since they've seen me on cam, and they're probably right, actually. I think the last time I was on a campsite might have been like two months ago, if that. or Yeah, about when I first moved away from the craziness, um, you know, or was able to get away from the craziness is more like it. Um, so anyway, with that being said, I basically, you know, um, have been working mostly on the phones. I mean, Mistress likes doing phone sex. Uh, I don't know. I have I work for two companies. Uh, I'm on Night Flirt, which is www.nightflirt.com forward slash Mistress Candy 69. And I'm on talktome.com under, I think, either Mistress Candy 69 or... I still be under Mistress Mystery. And the reason why I chose that name is because Mistress is a big Danzig fan. And there's a movie that he has made called Verotica. Kind of interesting. 
and there's a a, 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 a character in his movie, if you would, called Mystery Girl. <laughs> so, of course, Mistress Mystery was all too very fitting for me. So I decided to use that as an alias for a little while. Worked out pretty good to my advantage. People still knew it was me anyway. They were able to find me just by, you know, I guess my picture or whatnot. Um, some of my old customers, so it was pretty cool, you know. And, um, but now I am back under Talk to Me under Mistress Candy 69, and that's me. I'm never going to change who I am. I am the only mistress that you will ever meet that is probably the one that could even tell you is that I'm completely straight. I am into monogamy, and what else? <laughs> and,. I, what did I tell my new boyfriend recently? I said, you know, just because I'm a dominatrix doesn't mean that I live this crazy lifestyle. I said, I'm probably one of the straightest heterosexual monogamous dominatrixes you'll ever meet in your life. <laughs> and he looked at me and laughed. <laughs> it's true, though. I mean, I hate to say it, but I am one in a million. I'm irreplaceable. Um, there is nobody that walks this face of the earth that looks like me, okay? Nobody could say that I have a doppelganger or a twin any place, because I've never heard that about myself. Um, I've heard that I'm extremely unique. Like, and for instance, today, I worked my regular job in the morning, which is in a, a the, the health field, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I think I've mentioned in the past, I'm actually a dental assistant, okay? So, um, I won't say where, but I'm, I am in the dental field. And um, I have another, I have a few jobs that I do. Um, but my, my two main large jobs are the dental field and the personal training, right? So, now I have this other thing where I, of course, am mistress and I can work on cams and do phones and this and that. So, I'm a pretty good, like... I can kind of support myself to some degree. I mean, you know, my main job basically is the, the way to do it. But, you know, so basically what I like to say is um, <clears throat> it's kind of interesting. So earlier this year, Mistress has this friend from Jersey and uh, he's actually a photographer. Uh, knows a lot of like famous people. I'm just going to leave it at that. And um, kind of interesting him and I become friends and, you know, last, this past year, or last year, I had posted a photo of me in that black PVC dress, the long sleeve one that people go bananas over with that and the general's hat, right? So, um, a couple of months ago, he tells me <laughs> he wants to do a fetish shoot of me, um, <clears throat> Then something had terrible had happened to him, and he had to recover for a little while. So, Jack, if you're listening to the show, kudos to you, buddy. <laughs> um, so, anyway, <clears throat> he drives out from uh, Jersey today or this week to come see me to do the photo shoot. And, of course, I had on one of my favorite dresses in the whole world with my PVC um soldier general cap as well is um this dress I used to wear quite a bit but I think now since I'm more leaner and more thinner the dress fits me fantastic like a few months back when I was a little bit more bulkier and I had more muscles uh before my surgery of course um that dress the the, bi the bicep area on the dress was extremely tight <laughs> okay so now it's still tight, but I'm less bulky, so it like the sleeves fit me better. So my friend, the photographer, says to me today while I'm, he's taking the photographs, he was like, wow, mistress. He goes, whew. He goes, you're a complete knockout. He goes, you look 10 times better than I saw you last time. And he goes, and I thought you were pretty hot last time too. He goes, but oh my God. <laughs> so I kind of wonder... If I was making this fella have a little bit of an erection while I was standing there, you know, kind of makes you wonder, like, people, you know, like, photographers in general, like, um, they could be anybody. They could be people with foot fetishes or, um, you know, or muscle fetish. 
or even like uh, uh, the skin fetish. What the, the, the name for that? I forget what it's called. Oh, sorry, I had to take a sip of my coffee. <laughs> Oh, so anyway, I forget what the skin fetish is called. There's a specific name for it. But anyway, um, so what had happened was, you know, these people could have different fetishes. So I never, it never ceased to amaze me. I should ask my friend if he had any specific types of fetishes. I could have made the, the photo shoot more interesting, right? But I kept it, of course, very professional. And um, it was awesome. They, he took like over 4,000 photos of me today. And actually, I got to see a few of them on the viewfinder on the camera. And oh my God, these photos came out like fantastic. He is an excellent photographer. And oh my God, like the ones that I took that I posted like on Twitter and I think FetLife and um, Facebook, there's only two photos of me that I blew up from the still of the camera, that I took my phone and took a picture of his camera. <laughs> but the oh my God, that they came out excellent, these photos. Some of them I had a hat on and glasses, and some of them I did not. Like I took like a bunch of different poses or a different group of photos um, with hat on, hat off, glasses on, glasses off. And I got to tell you, some of these photos of myself, I can't even believe I look as good as I do. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's funny. My Uber driver this morning and the past couple of days, I've been getting these weird guys driving me to work. And they always say something to me about my sh nicely shaped legs or, you know, and then like, they're like, oh, are you a personal trainer? I said, yeah, I'm a personal trainer. So it's it's kind of funny. They're like, oh my God, you have a gorgeous body. And how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? And I, I usually tell them I'm like 35, 38. And they're like, wow, you look fantastic. I said, no, I'm only kidding. I'm actually 47. <laughs> like, and they're like, no, really? I'm like, yeah, I really am. So I show them, like, my ID, not much my name, but, like, I show them, like, you know, the year I was born. And they're like, wow. They're like, you look freaking fantastic for 47. I said, well, thank you very much. I said, that makes me feel good, actually. <laughs> it makes me feel good that they say I look great for my age, but I hate when I'm bombarded by a lot because, you know, I don't know. I guess one could say I'm just in, a, in, a, in another zone when I'm going to work. And I'm thinking about, you know, seeing my boyfriend that night, of course. So while I'm, like, listening to music in the morning, like, I always have headphones on. Always. So, um, you know, I'm always listening to some sort of music. So keeping my, my brain always active, I guess, in the retrospect. <laughs> I know, I'm extremely giddy tonight. I had a really good work week. Um... Had a lot of fun with friends this week. I got to see James. Oh, my 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 boyfriend this week. Sorry, um, Jameson the whiskey. No, I'm like kidding. <laughs> uh, so I got to see him this week, and um, pretty awesome, you know. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just in a really good, happy mood because Exotica's coming up. I'm doing a lot of different photo shoots now with different people um, for like magazine uh, a cover art. Um, I'm doing like fetish photography for somebody's portfolio. So I'm doing a whole different bunch of things and it's kind of nice. I'm able to come in and freely do them and be in a great mood and not be like harassed by somebody who's like Rah! all the fucking time. Like it really is like an awesome feeling to have your freedom and you know, like, um, you know, my new guy, he's awesome. And like, he, he loves the fact that I'm a dom is not into the lifestyle, but is cool with me doing it. And why? Because it's something I love.